PRX has reached, I think, a double bottom and why Poloniex may be in the news. And if you see Tron being investigated or any kind of headlines like that and making this video so that you don't get scared out of your position. Also, BTT, BitTorrent, which I almost always talk about during these Tron videos, is also trailing right behind Tron and has the same potential for some explosive action. So... Before I get into it, a couple things, and I say this often, sometimes I get immersed in videos, I forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell, and I forget to comment down below. This helps support the content creator. Occasionally, we give away giveaways. giveaways. Can't talk this morning, need more coffee, although it's not so early, it's 9.38 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, it's May 28th, 2021, and uh, I think I'll publish this video later today, but I'm not sure. If not, it'll be the Monday. Anyways, if I could show you a way that you could not get scared the heck out of your position, would you do something for me? Would you, takes you three seconds, hit the like button, hit the notification bell now, subscribe if you haven't already, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you, I do appreciate your views very, very much, and I'm going to give you some ammunition for nutrition, meaning, protecting your gains or potential gains so you do not, and I cannot get stressed this enough because the media lately is a bit not so cracko, and it's been that way for the last probably three, four years where they're getting more and more clickbaity and they want you to click and they want to scare people and they use fear coupled with news that's, you know, not necessarily fake news, but real news that they spin in a certain way. So this may be a shorter video than usual. I don't know yet. Poloniex is part of the TRX tribe, and if you don't know what it is already, I'm not going to get into it because that's not what this video is about. I, I probably will make another video in the coming days um, regarding what it is. You can look it up, but in short, Poloniex is the Ontario Securities Commission snuffs out crypto exchanges, Poloniex targeted for flouting compliance. So again, the news may play with this. You may see Tron because Tron is, uh, uh, it's under their umbrella, Poloniex. You may see the media play with this and say, you know, Tron's being investigated or whatever. Don't get scared out of your position. In my opinion, there's nothing to worry about. Again, not investment advice. You know the drill, you know the routine. It's just my opinion. I make these videos because I like to share my opinion. And I am simply a cryptocurrency, Tron TRX, BTT BitTorrent, fan and the purpose of this channel is to give you important news and insights regarding first Tron TRX BitTorrent BTT and also to not keep you out of the dark with news that is of importance in the cryptocurrency industry and to save you a lot of time and provide provide unique insights that may help you tremendously. So here's one of them. Ontario Securities Commission snuffs out crypto exchanges, Poloniex targeted for flouting compliance. So here's what's happening and what's going on. And here's the truth of it, not what you may read as a headline. The uh, a scare headline, the Ontario Securities Commission OSC published documentation on Tuesday that claims that Seychelles based crypto exchange Poloniex has failed to contact the OSC in order to start compliance discussions. Poloniex meets the OSC's jurisdiction because the trading platform operates trading accounts for Ontario residents. The OSC's breach and conduct report notes. OSC says Poloniex failed to communicate with the Ontario regulator. According to Ontario's top financial regulator, the Ontario Securities Commission OSC sent out communications to crypto asset trading platforms that offer digital currency services to citizens of Ontario. On March 29th, the letter said they must bring their operations into compliance with Ontario securities law or face potential regulatory action. The notice also told the exchanges that the firms needed to contact the OSC by April 19th, 2021 to start compliance discussions. However, the OSC's latest report highlights that the Seychelles-based crypto exchange Pol uh, Poloniex allegedly failed to contact the regulator. The OSC stressed, and that's a mistake, by the way, regardless if there's something, you know, I'm going to say the truth, just because I'm pro TRX and BTT and all that, um, they should have contacted them because there's nothing wrong with making contact, even if you don't think that market is important and you don't want to spread your attention and resources in that direction, and you just want to uh, don't care even if you have to cease operations because your your tentacles, your focus is uh, on scaling something else. Sometimes you have to pick and choose when you're scaling big projects where your attention goes, but that is a mistake to not communicate uh, at all regardless. So anyhow, it's not going to be a big deal is my point. 
uh, a process is in place for crypto asset trading platforms to bring their operations into compliance with Ontario securities laws. Fine. Entities such as Poloniex, which flout this compliance process, expose Ontario investors to unacceptable risks and create an uneven playing field within the crypto asset trading platform sector, the report adds. So, in my opinion, uh, I don't know about that. I don't think that it's really doing anything that's putting them in danger. And I do think the media, if they latch onto this, will try to make a big deal out of it in terms of Tron, uh, which is a bunch of baloney. You should ignore it, in my opinion. Again, can't stress it enough in case you missed part of the video. If you think there's value here, comment down below. Tell me if you think that this is valuable information that I'm giving you. If you like the video and you like the info, like hit the bell uh, and subscribe. You can always take it back. It's free to do and I'd appreciate it if you did it. Now, the report does not mention any other digital currency exchanges that have complied or others that may have flouted the warnings. The litigation and enforcement staff of the OSC division wants Poloniex to cease trading in any securities or derivatives permanently or for such period as is specified by the commission. Moreover, enforcement wants Poloniex to be barred from acquiring any securities permanently or until the OSC is satisfied. The regulator's enforcement office also seeks to force Poloniex. Okay, so it's Bitcoin.com. I'm not going to read the whole entire article. I want to talk a little bit about what I talked about before I saw this article that came out the other day. Um, I think they're a little aggressive. I think the bounce is going to be 20% for Tron in the coming days within the next, uh, I would say, few weeks. Um, so they say 40%, but what they do say, which I agree, Tron price prediction double bottom is encouraging for bulls. A double bottom on the chart suggests that the Tron price may finally be ready to break out of its recent downtrend. TRX could rally 40% if this happens. This is May 27th. This is yesterday um, that this article was published. It is investingcube.com. Uh, TRX seems to have found a floor price for the moment. For the moment. <laughs> Momentum. The sell-off on the 19th of May saw the Tron price trade as low as Five cents. By the way, also, you know, if you want to be in on the front end on news like this, visit one of our internet properties, entrepreneuramg.com. You'll have a surprise there waiting for you. It's free to go there. And I think that um, you'll like being ahead of the pack because there's information that I can get out to you quicker if you just access some, some special spots, basically, which I just gave you a little tip on. So in the relief rally, and yes, I'm trying to get you to go to the internet property, obviously, of course, you know that, um, but it'll be worth your while. In the relief rally that followed entrepreneuramg.com, in the relief rally that followed, TRX managed to bounce 60% before stalling at $0.09. Cents. The Tron price, like much of the market, was unable to hold on to the gains. Bleeding lower over the next three sessions on the 23rd, TRX marginally exceeded the low of the 19th, trading as low as $0.05 cents before stag staging another strong recovery. This morning, TRX is trading at $0.08 cents and attempting to clear an ascending trend line from the 7th of May high at $0.17. Cents. There are some encouraging signs that this may happen sooner rather than later. Like I said, I say within a few weeks. Sometimes I may change my timeline just based on, you know, what's going on. But what I'm trying to tell you is that you will see, um, you will see Tron go up. 20%, possibly more, I don't agree with the 40%, and I feel it will happen within 21 days, uh, and possibly less, certainly not longer than 30 days. Now, this morning, TRX is trading at $0.08 cents and attempting to clear the ascending trend line from the 7th of May. It's high of $0.17. Cents. Yes, I just realized now that I already read that. Towards both lows, the trading volume was much higher than normal. The volume has continued to be strong, suggesting that there is accumulation happening at this lower valuation. This is further reinforced by the second 50% plus bounce. If you made the smart, wise decision to watch this video right to the end here and you haven't subscribed and hit the bell yet, hit the bell because when we do the occasional giveaways, we let people know in the new video that they ended up being one of the winners. And even more importantly, you'll miss out on new content that may tip you off in advance of things happening that could possibly save you or make you a tremendous amount of money if you don't hit the bell because you will not know in a timely fashion that a video 
came out. You'd have to go look in your subscriptions instead of being notified automatically. So take advantage of the Internet's autopilot. Take advantage of the AI. Thank you for watching. Hope this finds you well, healthy, happy as usual. And I will see you on the next video.